Lesson 10.3 F, Going Further, Equivalent Expressions, Substituting to Determine Equivalence. Expressions can be equivalent for all values or only when specific values are used. To know if expressions are equivalent when given a specific value for a variable, we substitute the value into the expression and evaluate the expression. To know if two expressions are equivalent for all values of a variable, we simplify the expression to a form that can be compared. Remember, when a number or variable is outside and directly next to parentheses, it's telling us to multiply. The value of a variable in an expression will be the same throughout that entire expression. If we let y equal 2, then everywhere we see a y, we're going to substitute the number 2. Here it's telling us to substitute the given value into the expressions to see if they're equivalent for the given value. So we have 12m plus 48m, and our other expression is 12m plus 12 times 4m when m is equal to 2. So we substitute 2 in for the value of m, 12m is 12 times 2, that's 24. 48m is 48 times 2, that's 96. We get 120. When we put 2 in for m for this expression, we have 12 times 2, which is 24. And we have 4 times 2, which is 8. Then we have 12 times 8, which is 96. Look, it's the same add-ins. It's equal to 120. So the two expressions are equivalent when m is equal to 2. They're equivalent because 48m is equal to 12 times 4m, and both are added to 12m. This makes them equivalent for all values of m. 12m plus 48m is equal to 12m plus 48m. And we're going to talk about this more in the next lesson, 10.3g. Now let's see if these two expressions are equivalent. We have 2 times n plus 8 minus 5 and 2n plus 3 raised to the second power when n is equal to 4. For this expression, we can do within the parentheses first, and we substitute 4 for n, and we have 4 plus 8, which is 12. Now we have 2 times 12, which is 24. We subtract the 5, we get a 19. We could also use the distributive property and distribute the 2 to the 4 and then to the 8. That would be 2 times 4, which is 8, and 2 times 8, which is 16, minus 5. We would have 24 minus 5. That's equal to 19. So whether we do within the parentheses first or we distribute the 2, we're going to get a 19. When we do this one and substitute 4 in for n, we have 2 times 4, which is 8, plus 3 raised to the second power is 3 times 3, so that's a 9. We have 8 plus 9, that's 17. So no, the two expressions are not equivalent when n is equal to 4. Again, it's telling us to determine whether the algebraic expressions are equivalent. So we're going to look at this expression and this expression. We can use the distributive property to write this second expression into a form that can be compared. We have 4 times x squared plus, because there's a plus sign here, 4 times 2. That's going to give us 4x squared, or x raised to the second power, plus 8. Here we have 8 plus 4x raised to the second power. And if you look at them, they're in a different order, aren't they? So we can use the commutative property of addition to write the terms of the first expression in a different order. We can write it in the same order as the second expression. And yes, they're equivalent. Are these expressions equivalent? And remember the order of operations, PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide, whichever comes first, add or subtract, whichever comes first from left to right. So we have 3x plus 6 plus 4, and the other expression is 3 times x plus 6 plus 4, when x is equal to 2. For this one, we're going to substitute the 2 for x, 
We have 3 times 2, which is 6, and we're going to add that to 6 plus 4. That's 6 plus 10, isn't it? That's a 16. And for this one, because we have the x plus 6 within parentheses, we can either do within the parentheses first when we substitute 2 for x, or we could distribute this 3 that is outside the parentheses. If we do the parentheses first, we have 2 plus 6, which is 8. That's 3 times 8, which is 24. We're going to add the 4 and get a 28. If we distribute the 3, we're going to have 3 times 2 plus 3 times 6. That's going to be a 6 plus 18 plus 4, and we're going to get a 28. So whether we do within the parentheses first or distribute the 3, we're going to get a 28. But for this one, we got a 16. So no, the two expressions are not equivalent when x is equal to 2. So let's evaluate this expression for the given value of the variables. We have two variables, an x, which equals 4, and a y, which equals 3. We have x plus y raised to the second power plus 2x. We substitute in the values, 4 for x, 3 for y. That means we have 4 plus 3 raised to the second power plus 2 times 4. That's going to be a 4 plus a 9 plus an 8, which equals 21. Now, we can use the commutative property of addition and rearrange these and put the 2x here, and we can combine the like terms and then evaluate x plus 2x, well, that's 3x. Remember, there's a little invisible 1 here. So we're adding 1x with 2x's. It's going to give us 3 plus the y raised to the second power. That means we have 3 times 4 plus 3 raised to the second power. That's going to be 12 plus 9, which is 21. Either way, we're going to get 21 as our answer. So we're finished with this part. We're going to move on to the last part of 10.3, simplifying to determine equivalence. There's seven total parts to this lesson, 10.3. I hope so far you've been able to watch all of them, and they're linked in the description if you haven't. Have a really good day, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.